My name is Sarah Young and I'm a solicitor with Ridley and Hall specialising in will disputes. When someone goes missing it's obviously an emotionally very traumatic time for their family and friends and I think we'd all empathise with that but what a lot of us don't realise is that there can be financial and legal implications of someone going missing that can be very upsetting and very difficult for the left behind family to deal with. If the missing person was a homeowner and had a mortgage, that might then go into arrears and their property could be repossessed. Their bank accounts can go overdrawn. And before the law changed in this country, in England and Wales, it could be very difficult for anyone to do anything about that. We do now have two statutes that can help families in this situation. One is called the Presumption of Death Act 2013. And that act enables a friend or a loved one of a missing person to apply for something called a declaration of presumed death, which will be granted by the High Court if a judge is satisfied that there's sufficient evidence to prove on the balance of probabilities that the missing person has died. That declaration acts like a death certificate and enables the closest living relative to apply for a grant of probate to deal with the missing person's finances on the basis that they have sadly died. That application does not need to uh, be made seven years after the disappearance. That is a myth that a lot of people believe and it's a terrible shame because it can lead to properties being repossessed when that really isn't necessary. There is also a new act which came into force on the 31st of July 2019. It's called the Guardianship Missing Persons Act 2017 and that act enables a loved one of someone who's gone missing to apply to be appointed as a guardian on the basis that the missing person is hoped to still be alive and that they will one day return. Now this is a significant change in the law and it's going to be incredibly helpful for a lot of families of missing people but a lot of people don't know about it and so one of the reasons I'm wanting to talk about the Act is to raise awareness so that people are aware that there is something that can be done in the hope that the missing person will one day return. Now a guardian won't normally be appointed by the High Court until the person has been missing for at least 90 days. There are all sorts of questions and queries that people will have about both the guardianship and about the Presumption of Death Act. I'm here to help. I specialise in cases involving missing people. They don't need to have gone missing necessarily in the UK. The Acts can apply where someone's gone missing abroad, so long as they've got assets in this jurisdiction in England and Wales. So there are all sorts of issues that I can help with. Just please do get in touch and I'll be happy to help. There's also a charity that can help called Missing People and they are excellent. Uh, they really know their stuff and they will be really great at helping you with any queries that you may have as well. So if you know of someone who has gone missing and you want to help their family or friends, please let them know. Let them get in touch with me and I will answer their queries. My name's Sarah Young and we are Ridley and Hall. Thank you.